team got to 1,000 yards. You didn't get a last. I know you lost the game. Arkansas lost the game. But just talk about getting 1,000 yards in the game you had out there today. Uh, I was proud of my old lineman, you know, for helping me get there. Uh, I mean, that was the goal this week, basically, to, you know, get 180. And our line went out there and got the job done. And I saw it and hit it. So I was really proud of those guys up front. You know, they did real good today, even though I didn't touch it much. You said you happy that you got there, but you didn't touch it that much. Do you feel like you had more than just the eight touches in you today? I mean, yeah, but I mean, like I said, I was when I got the ball, I was just trying to score every time I got the ball. So I got it eight times. You know, I tried to make something happen out of those eight times. To the defensive guys, just kind of, can y'all describe the way that things went down today? Uh, early on in the first half. That's really like where they got at eight points. We just couldn't get out the field on third and fourth down. And that's, you can't get out the field on third and fourth down. That's what's going to happen. I'd agree with them. You know, we just start off way, way too slow and uh, couldn't get off the field third and fourth down. Bumper, is it a, is it a, uh, is it an execution? Is it, is it something with gap control? What's happening with the run game the last three weeks that, Pop of these big runs and this big yardage against the defense. Can you, can you, when you break it down the film, can you figure out what the problem is? You know, we just, we have, you know, a lot of youth, you know, including myself, that um, we're making too many mistakes. We're not, you know, sound. And then when you, when you aren't sound, they're going to run the ball. And that's something that we got to work on. You know, that's, that's us as a defense. Um, players that we got to lock in and, and get that right. It's also for both defensive players, just Ty Story's performance. I mean, did that surprise you? I mean, knowing what you already, you know, knew what he could do? Uh, I mean, Ty Story, a good player. He came in, had a great game, and he, you know, props to him. Yeah, I know Ty, he's a good quarterback, and he's, he played played lights out. You know, he's – he did what he needed to do, and he put the ball where, where he needed to put it. Cam and Bumper, when, when things aren't going well, what do the coaches say to you all on the field? Do they, do they show you how they're disappointed in the effort, or, or wh how, do, how do they kind of convey how they feel about the performance so far? With any, with any defensive coach, when you get off the field, they're going to you know, assess what had, ha what had happened, fix the, fix the mistake. Um, that was that was there, and then, you know, Coop's on the sideline getting us fired up, getting us ready to go in the game. So that's just that's that's basically what they do. Uh, yeah, they just try to keep us going. You know, tell us keep going because that's the only thing you can do. You can't keep dwelling on what happened, or it's gonna keep happening. So you just gotta keep going out there and fight. Y'all probably understand. There's a lot of fed up fans. Is this team 100% behind Chad Morris? Yes, we are. I mean, like I said, we're going to keep fighting. You know, like I said, it's pride. You know what I mean? Go out there and play. It's back for defense again. Coach has said two weeks in a row that the effort defensively, he's not pointing anybody in particular, but he just says the effort's not there. What? How do you address that? Was the effort enough to to get off the field today? No. I mean, if, if we're being honest, you know, we didn't get it done. Or I could come in here and make excuses that we, you know, fought hard. Y'all saw the score. You know, that's something that's not acceptable. And we got we to gotta reach down and look. Every single guy's got to look in the mirror and understand that it's not, it's not someone else's fault. It's, it's your fault. You got to, you know, fix your mistakes. Um, and, and if you have that mindset 11 guys through, you're going to have a successful defense in the future. Uh, yeah, everybody, all 11 players got to go 100% every play. And whenever one player not doing that, then the effort not up to par. Yes, Raheem, just how do you feel it, that uh, Jefferson and, and uh, Jones did a quarterback? I thought they played fine. I thought uh, we could have executed a couple of drives, and, you know, it was just little mistakes. Trailing going down there. The ball hit him in his chest, bounced off his helmet. I 
think that, that happened about like two times where the, those are big long plays, you know what I mean? That John Stevens made a good throw and KJ made a good throw. So, I mean, it's just stuff like that that, we, you know, that we just got to correct. So. The TD plays, McKean, what, what kind of plays were they? What did you see on them? I mean, my offensive line did their job. They opened it for me and, you know, I saw it, so I hit it. I mean, those guys up front been, the whole year been doing their job and I've been proud of them, so.